Hello and welcome back Oops, hit the door. to Rustic Root Farms. You join me as I'm about to fill up the greenhouses. Uh, my partner has gone out. She is uh, trying to get a demo tractor sorted for us still. Even though we have just brought the Hurleyman. It would be nice just to have something else to run around in. But I... Like I said, need to pick up some manure from the cows and uh, put it in the greenhouses. So I'm going to go do that now. Uh, and then I'm going to have to, of course, start getting uh, uh, grass fields caught, our meadows, whatever you'd like to call them. I need to get those done because uh, we do need to start making silage again. We do have an unrolling contract with the BGA uh, for silage, which is good. So oh, let's get up here and let's uh, get these greenhouses done. Oh, let's just lift this up so I can see what I'm doing. Here we go. So here we go. Let's fill this one up. A bit my partner normally does this bit. Uh, the greenhouses are, are her thing. Well, not the first thing about growing uh, cucumbers or anything. That's, that's her domain. I'll admit this is the first time I've had to put manure on them. She's normally doing this. But, you know, she's out doing things for the farm as always, out doing contracts and everything like that, so it's all good. Nice to know that things are getting done on the farm while she's away. Oh, pardon me, while she's away. As I say, you know, she's the one that sources all the contracts and everything so you know she does a fantastic job she really does right, let's put that in there there we are right, that's that one full enough let's uh, go and get some more manure for the other one get all the ground sorted for her for manure and uh, because she hasn't got anything planted yet, I'm sure there's still enough water in them tanks, so that'll be fine. I uh, also need to look at there we go. Also need to look at uh, filling up our manure spreader um, on the, the fields that we've harvested. There is literally just our sunflowers and our cornfields left you know, they was both planted a little later than we should have done but you know we got it done we got them planted it does take a bit of time like i say with the equipment that we have we don't have the biggest equipment we are a small farm but we you know we we make it work me and my partner we get it done and one slow step at a time. Let's just try and get it in there. There we are. Right, so one more will do it. The water tanks already have water in. Just got to wait for my partner to plant some more cucumber. We do sell a lot of cucumber, you know. Uh, we do have uh, people come over to the, our house. Oh, our farmhouse and uh, they do buy cucumbers from us which is always good a little uh, extra source of income because uh, we are green we do use all manure as fertilizer and things like that 
you know, we do have to use lime the occasional time and do have to use uh, pesticide, uh, weed killers, everything like that to make sure that we do get the, the best possible yields we can on our fields as well. Hopefully I do hear some good news from my partner. Oh. She, she was absolutely ecstatic about the hurling men. She wasn't excited as I was, but, you know. <laughs> I have been looking at this track, that tractor for years. And to now finally be able to call myself the owner of the hurling men. I'm really, really happy. Right, let's just uh, get this down. I need to get this bucket cleaned out. Right, so let's go this way. We'll get this bucket washed out. Get this put back. Then we'll go in and get the four switch mower out. Four switch. Four switch. We'll just get the mower out. Uh, the, <laughs> the big mower. And of course, we're going to have to go and uh, do a bit of grass cutting. Do have a lot of manure there, which is good because we are going to have to fertilize most of our fields with that and then uh, get it cultivated in. What am I doing over here? That's our water tower. I need to be here. Right, so let's do that. Angle it a little bit so the water will drain out. There we are. Alright. Okay. There we go. It. Give this a really, really good clean. Let's get on there here. side. There we go. There we are. Do you know what? I'll give this a spray whilst we're at it. Just needs a little bit of a spritz. Let's get the other side. Just a little bit of a sprinkle. Let's get the back. There we are. What's that there? Beautiful. All stunning again. Right, let's get in. Get it started up. Get it put back. Alright. I'll do this, then we'll go get them big mower. We're going to have to cut out two grass fields over there. Need to get that done, need to get that one cut there. Uh, we do own a couple right over yonder. Need to get those cut as well. We do have a bit of grass over here, but I think I'm going to leave that bit of grass for now. Just doesn't have that much growth on it. So I don't really think it warrants cutting that at the minute. Let's, let's uh, drop that down. There we go. Still want the two bags of seed in there. Okay. I don't know if uh, they're going to take those seeds back or, or what. I have no idea. That. That is a beautiful machine. Right. Let's get this closed. And down we go. Alright, let's go and get our big mower. We need a, we need to start getting silage sourced again from our fields. So uh, we'll go do that. Get a big area of our grass fields cut. And then all that is left after that is to get our sunflower field harvested and all of our corn flower fields 
harvested. Mm, okay, right. Let's go get the big mower. Let's get these fields caught. There's the beast, there's our mower. It's not the greatest, it does uh, take a while to get started up. Oh, let's just squeeze through. But uh, it does the job, oh, I'm in the wrong side. Keep forgetting, I have to get in this side. Oh. Climb through, there we go. Right, in we get. There we go, shut the door. Uh, come on. No, come on. Come on. Come on, bit of gas, bit of gas. There we go. Right, so let's get this lifted up. Alright. Make sure I'm not to hit anything. Think. Let's just get out. I might get my attacher out, the trailer attacher, and uh, get this on wheels, and we'll have it wheeled out. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, right. I'll get that done. Just get that set. Up. Just shut that door. There we go. Right, so let's just turn this on. Yes, bit of a racket, I know. Right, I'm gonna go and look for the bits. And uh I'll see you in a while when I've got this on the trailer. Because it does have wheels and uh the trailer hitch, so I'll just go and look for those and I'll see you in a minute when I've found them. If I can find them. Okay, so I managed to find the attachers. I'm just getting this thing warmed up. Alright, here we go. I've managed to get it all sorted, get them put in, and uh, the pins put in place to keep it all steady. I now need to drive over to our grass fields over there. And my partner, she did use the Hurleyman, and she has gone out and picked up our wind rower that we did order a couple of days ago, they only just got it in. So, yeah, it's all good. There it is, the SIP favourite 220 SIP. Uh, it can be used as a tether and a wind rower, so, uh, yeah, um... Obviously, you know, my partner's left put it on there, went to pick it up in this, so I think we'll use that for it. Be a good first for it. Right, so, let's go cut some grass. Need to get started on signage again. There we go, we get. Let's shut the door. Take the brake off. There we go. It's been a while since I used this thing. I think the last time I cut the grass. Oh, my partner cut the grass last time. Right, let's make sure everything is connected. It's locked in. It's all fine. Has a tension on this. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, right, so all set. Oh, let's get in. Cut some grass cut. Should we go? So here we go. I have a couple of grass fields. Got one here, and we'll have a, a couple over there. 
We do have some grass fields over yonder. I really have just connected it to the front, couldn't I? Uh, well, it is what it is. But, let's make sure no one's coming. Nope. this get out pull the bar there we go that's it that so should I'll just pull these out and uh, I'll get it sound like a car was coming and I'll get it connected to this thing and then uh, away we'll go get put in this I'll see you in a minute when I've got all this set up Okay, so I've put the trailer parts away. I've put those in the uh, shed over there. Looking all good. Everything seems to be running fine. I did do a couple of checks just to make sure there were no chipped teeth on the front and anything like that. So hopefully this does do the job. It did last time we used it. Let's aim again. Let's just shut this door. There we go. Alright, let's get this bad boy started up. Bit of gas, bit of gas, there we go. Take off the brake. There we go. Alright, anything coming? Nope. Well, let's go. Let's get this grass field cut. Alright, let's remember how to use this thing. Um, let's get the header down. There we go. Alright, let's get it started up. There we go. Alright, let's get cutting some grass. It's been a while since I've used this thing. Hopefully, it's doing an alright job. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Don't get too close to those bushes. We need to get a, a lot set for silage. As I say, we do supply the BGA. Now, this may be an old machine, old machine, but it definitely does the job. Oh, let's just come out there, that bush. Oh, couple of leaves in there. That's fine. I am thinking about just ploughing out this grass field and uh, the field just there that we recently harvested just making this one big field to join with that one there let's just stop for a moment make sure no traffic's coming okay there we are let's lift that up hopefully the tension in the springs are all right down there Down again, oh, through that bush. Oh, the spring's still okay. Hopefully, we don't have to replace any of those tension springs, which is a good thing. So, yeah, all I've got to do is just cut this grass, uh, cut the grass over there. But I might have a word with my partner about just turning this into arable, plowing this in with that one and uh, that one, take out those trees and just have this as one big field. I don't know yet, but, you know, we do supply the BJ with a lot of silage. But we do ha own a lot of grassland over, over there and over that way. Uh, missing bits. Lift the header. There we go. to say though this old machine has done us a lot of good 
Yeah, there's old, but it definitely, you know, it gets the job done. It's very, very handy to have this thing. So, jobs to do. My partner is currently getting uh, the harvester out. I don't know which one she's going to be using, but uh, we do have another field of sunflowers that needs doing. So she's on her way to do that, whilst I'll get this done. Let's get this down. There we go. Overall, not a busy day so far. Just got to do the odd little bit, a little bit of silage, a little bit of compacting. We have a lot of grass fields that need to be cut. I'm not, doing, not missing any of my. No. Okay. So, so far, not too bad. It's 3:37. Seem to be doing okay for time. As I said, um, my partner, she's out har going to be out harvesting in one of our fields. And then basically we've just got to wait on the corn. Which uh, shouldn't be uh, too long now, I should say a couple of days. And that'll be uh, ready to harvest. Things doing, not doing fine still. There we go. So overall, it's been a pretty good day. It's been nice. Uh, hasn't rained so far, fingers crossed. So that's always a bonus, helping us uh, out there is uh, Mother Nature not raining, giving us a chance to get a cut on this, and then obviously I've got to get those cut as well. How are we doing? Oh, we're not doing too bad. Oh, missed a bit. I'm always worried about the, these tension springs down here. It's been a weird while since we've replaced them. Seem to be doing fine at the moment. It's going to be a busy day of silage. Or oh, busy afternoon, should I say. Put down here. So we're out of the way of that tree. around and we'll go down this side. Right, so as I said, I've got a uh, this grass field to cut, I've got the two over there to cut. Um, tomorrow hopefully I'm looking at uh, we're gonna have to load up our manure spreader and get some manure spread on our uh, our fields that have been harvested. And then we're gonna have to look at obviously Cultivating those and prepared for the next uh, round of planting. So we've got to get that done. 
it's going to be a couple of days work for sure because we do own a fair few fields you know we own a lot of fields it's just because they're small um, it looks a lot if we look at the sat nav imagery that we have but overall it's really not that big let's just turn here if I can I'm going to hit that tree here we go alright spring seems to be doing ok at the moment Alright, so, I'm going to carry on uh, cutting these fields, and I'll see you hopefully when I'm uh, a bit more cut. It's going to take some doing that. So, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, got a lot of work. Okay, so almost done with this field. Um, just get to the end of this, and then we're going to head over to the two over there. Uh, get those done. This seems to be running pretty smoothly at the moment. No any crashes or bangs, which is always a good sign. Let's lift that up. Let's just stop that for the moment. Actually, let's just stop, get out, and have a look. Right, so it all seems to be running perfectly. Got a pretty good cut. Oh, wonky lines. Yeah, um, it's not the easiest of fields to traverse in this thing. You know, back wheel steering is a very old machine, but uh, yeah, we're now going to head over to these two grass fields over here. So let's get in. Let's just shut that door. Let's get started. Should have really just left it running. Nothing coming that way. Nothing coming that way. Oh, head over to these two. Whoa, I didn't like the little divot in there. Definitely swung the back end around a bit more than I'd like. Let's head down over to Grassfield. Down. Let's touch. Just gonna have to check these springs. They're doing fine. Just gonna have to check these ones. Squeeze through that bush. The bolts seem tight. I'm just checking everything here down there. Just want to make sure everything is running as smoothly as it should be. Back in. Oh, get more shot. Oh. Get that started up. And away we go. Start putting this field. I have to have a word with my partner about connecting these fields, but she's probably the same thing as I'm thinking. We do do a lot of silage for the BGA, so is it worth it? I don't know. Get down, have a look at the pros and cons of everything. Definitely have to look at getting some spare parts ordered for this thing. Be done sooner rather than later. Okay. 
and the helmet partner's getting on harvesting. Trish is doing fine. Don't go too close to these bushes. I wonder how Stanley's getting on today. Right, so again, I don't really think you just want to see me constantly cutting this. So I'm going to get all this cut. Uh, hopefully it's not too late. I've got... I've cut that one over there. I've got these two here. Um, and then I've just got a couple over yonder that need doing. I'll get those cut. And uh, hopefully it's not too late. Uh, get out the old loading wagon. Uh, get some loaded up and put in the bunker silo so that can obviously get a chance to start to ferment and once we've got all of it in there uh, we will blanket it of course so yes uh, a very very busy afternoon and possibly into the night of uh, mowing in this thing so I'm going to have a very num bum by the end of the night in this seat it is not the comfiest by any means oh, I can see this being a late finish for me a very late finish Right, so I'll see you when I have got all of the grass cut. We've got a, a lot of grass. So, yes, I will see you all pretty soon. And hopefully, I'm going to be collecting it in the loading and wagon. Hopefully, if it's not too late, it is 4.58 now. Possibly going to be mowing until about 10 o'clock at night. It's going to be a very, very busy day. Got a lot of fields that need mowing. As I say, we do um, do all this for the BGA. We are their main supplier of silage. Even though we are a small farm. chop up a couple of leaves it isn't going to make much difference right so I'll see you all in a bit when I've got a bit further ok so it is 6.29 Whoa, let's just pull over a touch uh, I'm now on our way to our other two grass fields uh, our farm is way over there I've had to be a bit cautious driving this down here you know but you do get the odd tractor and everything that move out the way for us, which is quite nice every now and again. Alright, so let's carry on. Let's get these two fields done. There's this one here, and we have that one there. We do have another couple over yonder. Oh, it's going to be, like I said, a lot of work to try and get all of this grass cut. Um, I've just drove past my partner. Uh, she's uh, near enough finished harvesting our field over there I think it's over there or that way you know, my human compass isn't what it used to be but you know need to get these jobs done so she's uh, just plodding along with that and then I see her driving back occasionally up and down uh, emptying out into the silo so that's always good bringing in the crop like I said, all we have left now is, uh, I'm not sure if she's uh, on about doing our other sunflower field, if that's ready, but I know we still have to wait on our corn fields. That is going to be a couple of days from now. 
until uh, we can get that harvested. Let's come around here. Come around here. So as I said, it's uh, a lot of grass cutting. I need to get this done. The springs seem to be holding out, which is a good thing. The uh, traffic's starting to pick up by the looks of it. The truck coming down here. So I need to get this done. It is going to take a long time, like I said. I think it's going to be about 10 o'clock at night by the time I get finished. And that is just mowing in this old beast. So yes, I'll see you all further down the line and hopefully I've near enough got all the grass cutting done. So what time is it now? It is 6.43. We'll be pushing it for time. Hopefully my partner should have had that on the field done probably in about an hour, hour and a half. Um, uh, in about a week's time we've got my mother coming down she's coming down for the week so we've got that to look forward to we're just sorting out the spare room at the moment because we've got all of our clutter in there but you know as you do you always have a spare room with all your bits and bobs in so we've got to clean that out be nice as soon as my mum gets here I'll get her to work <laughs> my partner didn't find that too funny but I do as soon as she turns up, I'll throw her the tractor keys. Perhaps she can get out in the field. Right, so I'm going to crack on with this. Like I said, I'll it probably in a fair few hours. Uh, I'll get these cut. And I should say, when we're heading over to our other grass fields, so I'll catch up with you then. So, see you over. When we're heading to our other grass fields, See you then. Okay, so just a quick catch up. It's 7.57, almost 8 o'clock. Uh, still got a lot of grass cutting to do. This bit down here in the field that I was in. I've uh, just got a little bit over that side just there. I've uh, just got one more field that needs a current cut just over there. And then that will be the cutting done for today. I am going to have do the loading tomorrow hopefully it stays dry uh, and it doesn't rain but fingers crossed my fingers really are crossed so I'll see you in a little while just while I'll give you a heads up see you pretty soon um, oh, time is going really quick I'm gonna have to try and get a little bit of a wiggle on so I'll see you in a while hopefully when I'm in the last field over there just cut in the grass. See you in a bit. Okay, so we're back. Um, I've nearly got this field complete, it is the one that was opposite what I've just done. Um, just got this last little piece. Then I've got to head over to our other grass field that is able to get a cut on it. A lot of grass cutting. It is now 8.44. It's really late. My partner did say she did manage to get that field harvested and all the grain put in the silo, which is fantastic. It's good to put another field down. Um, so basically all we're waiting on now is just a couple of fields of corn. And that is pretty much it for this year's harvest. We then need to get prepared, everything sorted out uh, to put, ooh, put in uh, 
the start of next season's crop. Yeah, they're speeding down there a bit. The traffic's definitely picking up. Okay, so here we go. This is the last pass here. Uh, this uh, mower really has done a fantastic job. He's going to need a little bit of work on the header and, and everything like that when we're done. Probably top it up with a bit of fuel. But other than that, it's doing a fantastic job. It's really dark. Um, I don't know whether to head back to the farm and uh, get the transport parts brought over here for this so we can transport it that way maybe we can drive it over to our other grass field like this we do want some more grass fields but uh, due to the way we uh, rotate the cutting only one of them is ready for a cut we don't like cutting them all at once there we go all right let's Get that off and up. Gonna have to get out and check the springs, make sure the tension springs are alright. Wow, this thing is filthy. It's definitely gonna need a clean. Right, so they look fine. Just go around and give the header a quick check. Down here, up there. Okay, so no teeth have been chipped or anything. We haven't caught any rocks, which is good. Let's just check these tension springs. Pull that. Oh, yeah, they're fine. Nothing wrong with those at all. Engines all running fine. That's fine. Right. So let's head on over. To our next field. Oh, get the still shut. There we go. There we are. All right. Sure. Oh. Not looking. I need to make sure I press the right one. There we go. The drive so it cuts off the the power to the header how far is that car can't really see ok put my indicator on so they can see I'm pulling out ok so just put my normal lights on don't want to blind everybody as we're making our way to out of the grass field that is ready for a cut Turn your brights down. Jeez. Okay, so the glare of the car behind me because they've obviously got their full beam on. Come on. Turn your full beam off. Just pull around here. We'll go this way. We don't really get very much traffic on this road. I say that that car is right behind me. I'll pull in here for now. All right, I get it. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to wait for that car to pass, and then I'll see you over at our other field. Okay. Turn. Here we are, this field here. All the rest isn't really ready for a cut. It looks it, but we know it can grow a little bit better. So we do tend to let it grow a little bit more, but 
is what it is. Right, so let's start getting this grass cut. And, uh, I was looking to be finished around 10 o'clock, but it's 9.30 now. It is going to take a bit of time to get this one cut. So, uh, looks like it's definitely going to be a later night than I previously expected. But still, at least we're managing to get a decent uh, amount of work done. Right, let's just swing around. There we are. So we are right near the lake here. The lake's just there. I'm going to tip this machine in. That would be bad. Let's probably going to make it turn. Um, this does normal scroll to pull up here. So let's just give it a bit of gas. Come on. Don't forget. There we are. Okay. All right. So I'm thinking probably take about. 35 to 40 minutes ish to get this done so I'm looking at probably around quarter past 10 before I get this field complete and then head back to the farm there we are. Let's just lift that up. And at least I have managed to get all done that I wanted to get done just we do need to get a good start again on our silage. Which is our main source of income from our farm. You know, we do have a partnership with the BGA to supply them. We are their main supplier of silage. We are, on the odd occasion, do supply them with the manure. Uh, they don't have a need for it at the moment, but you know, when they do, we do have plenty of it. We've got a fair amount of cows at the farm. Just trying to constantly keep my eyes out in case anything comes down here on the road. Or the dirt track, should I say. There we are. Cut. So I'm going to crack on with this, get this done, and I will catch up with you when I've finished this and we are back at the farm. I'll give this a good wash down, which is definitely what it needs. And then tomorrow morning I'm going to have to come out with the loading wagon. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It doesn't forecast rain, but we know how... Um, the weather channels can get it wrong sometimes, so fingers crossed for good weather, hopefully. So, oh, just lift that. There we go. Going to get myself straightened out. Got a couple of divots in this ground. So, yeah, I'll see you back at the farm when I've got this done. Shouldn't take too long. Hopefully my partner's washed the harvester that she's finished with, put it back. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> so, see you back at the farm in a little while. Okay, so nearly finished in this field, finally. It's uh, <laughs> pretty late, it's 10.39. It took me a lot longer to get this field done than I originally planned for. Because, uh, oh, there's a bit of grass there, I'm going to have to get that in uh, bug meat. There we go. Because this is the bigger field down this hill to have uh, two pretty 
big size grass fields down here. Let's just look that up. Uh, yeah, so I have rang my partner. She is on her way in the pickup with the uh, adapters for the header. Uh, let's lift that up. There we go. Let's get that off. So all I've got to do now is just sit and wait for my partner to turn up. We'll get the... Let's just get out. Just put the engine off and leave the lights on so I can see what I'm doing. We'll get the uh, transport adapters for this. We'll get it put in that side and in the other side. And, uh, yeah, we'll get it put down and wheel this back over to the farm. It is old, but gee, does it do a good put in these fields. So this is the last field. I've just got to wait for my partner to turn up. And yeah, she's just going to literally drop the stuff off. I'm going to get them out the back of the pickup, put them on, and uh, I'll see you when I'm nearly at the farm. It's been a very, very long day. And I've got a really numb bum. That is not the comfiest seat in the world. So, I'll see you back over at the farm. Alright, so... Now back at the farm... There we go. It is eleven twenty. This thing needs a really good clean. Here we go. It looks like the paint is starting to peel off really bad. Has done a lot of work today though, has this thing. Give it a wash and I'll disconnect all these, get it connected to this thing, get it all put away. This thing is old, but I tell you what, it really does go through the ground. Give it a good cut. Can't deny it. It's old, but it definitely we need it to do. Side. Give it all a good spray off. They did amazing. I mean, they've cut a fair few fields. We had uh, this one over here. We had to cut the two over there. We had to cut the other two over the other side, and then that one. So I mean, you know, it's cut. Six fields. I mean, not to be griped at. It's done a lot of work today, as this thing definitely proven its worth. All right. Oops. Back on there. All right. Here we go. I'm going to get my dirty boots all over that again. Fantastic. Right, in, shut the door. Get started up. Still purrs like a kitten. Ooh, looks like my partner's already sorted the pigs. Doors. Oh, trapped away. Flick this light on. Get this put away, and then that's going to be this. Oh, just put it here. 
Oh, fair enough. Still need to change. The I am going to buy another force. Um, oh, another long based uh, class header trailer. I'll just uh, sell that one. Just doesn't suit it. Even if it's just uh, class green, I'll go with a header. Red's just really weird. Yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there tomorrow morning. I'm gonna have to have a shimmy around, move some of these things because we ooh, we are gonna need this, the Euro Boss 330T. We're gonna need that out. Ooh. And then we're gonna end up having to use the manure spreader. Let's spread our fields and then cultivate. Oh, we've had some growth on our corn. Fantastic. Isn't going to be too long, and this is going to be ready to harvest. Let's just check the moisture. Yeah, okay. Let's just check. Okay, not quite ready yet. Okay. For a couple of days, that'll be ready. So I'm going to get all this disconnected. I'm going to get these taken off, put away, I'm going to get the header connected to this and uh, we'll get it put back in there so I'll see you in a minute when I've got all that done this machine has done a marvellous job today very proud of it ok so once you get all that done I've put the rest of the stuff away, the trailer attachments let's get this put down now right get the engine turned off Get the lights off. Right, there we get. This did a brilliant job today, as I said. It is uh, really old, but it definitely does the job. But that's going to be the end of the vlog today. Oh, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, as always, hit the like, hit the subscribe. And until then, I'll see you very soon on this Rustic Root Farms. See you tomorrow. It's all right. Hmm, just fell asleep. Fair enough. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. When we're going to be using a loading wagon and picking up all that stuff. Ah, see you then.